Hey guys, it's Renee. For today's dessert, we're gonna be doing something that I actually found on Pinterest. It's a dessert with jello, and we're going to be making actually three ideas. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before we start, and let's go ahead and get started. The ingredients that we're gonna be using are pretty much a jello, and I'm using one package for this. Then some whipped cream. I didn't really measure how much I used, but this is kind of a half a cup, and then a cupcake tray. And then we're gonna be using one tablespoon as a measuring system. Then we're going to be using two glasses. Here it depends on how you want your final presentation to be. And a lot of people on Pinterest use kind of a wine glasses I saw. But these are the ones that I used. Then I'm going to be using some purple food coloring for this. Then for garnish, I'm going to be using my piping bag, some couplers, and two piping tapes. Actually, I'm using a round one and a star one. Some cute cupcake wrappers, and towards the end of the video, you're going to find out that I used actually some plain white ones. And I actually forgot to add my nuts because I had some nuts at the end, but this pretty much depends on your personal taste. I found this idea online, as I said before, and they used this method to just um, give our jello an angle. And I decided to use this kind of glasses because I found it easier to just handle the whole thing. But just go ahead and put your glasses on your tray like that, with a bit of an angle you want to just, you know, have them. And then I'm just going to start by adding my jello, which I made following the instructions that came in my package. And I'm just going to do this um, filling with my tablespoon. And I used a tablespoon just so I could have control of how many or how much I was putting in. Just so I could have the same amount of uh, jello on both my glasses. And then I'm just going to put that on the fridge and just wait for my jello to be done. So once it's done, it looks like this. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm just going to fill that space, like gap in there with my whipping cream. I'm going to add the original idea on my blog. My blog is going to be linked below as always, so you can check the original idea if you want to go for it. But this is just how I did it. And then as for garnish, I just added my nuts. Um, the original idea, I believe they added some strawberries, but I didn't have any. So this is pretty much the first idea that I wanted to share. It was really, really good, really delicious, and uh, it was visually really fun to look at, and it was delicious. For my second idea, I'm going to be using my jello, and I'm just going to add some drops of my purple food coloring. I chose a, a purple because I felt like adding purple, but you can add any color you want. But just remember you're working over a, a red um, base, so you just have to work um, from there. So then, once my jello is all purple, I'm just going to go and fill my other glass with my jello. And this is how it's going to, to look like. And then that goes to the fridge until it stands. So this is how it looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. Honestly, I think what this one was my favorite one. As for garnish, I'm just going to go and use my star tip, add a bit in the middle in there, and just some nuts. And I accidentally uh, dropped some nuts and I thought it was kind of cool to just have them in there. And that's why I chose to have them all around like that. I really like the final result of this one, I think it looks pretty cool. As far as for the other one, I'm just going to be working with my cupcake wrappers and my cupcake tray, and I'm just going to fill I think it was like three or four tablespoons, I don't remember, but yeah, kind of like that, kind of in the middle. And then I'm going to just put that on the fridge so until it's set. Once it's done, I'm just going to go with my pretty much leftover purple and I'm just going to fill the whole thing. Again, guiding myself with my tablespoon to just have the same amount. So just until your red one is covered, it depends on how much you have left. So that goes to the fridge again, and then uh, once it's done, we're going to garnish the whole thing. Now for this one, because I took a few of my jellos away from my cupcake wrappers, just because I wanted to see how the whole thing looked like with the lines of the, the different colors, I would just go ahead and kind of garnish at the end once I was done 
taking the whole thing as you can see right now I'm helping myself with a toothpick and I'm just pretty much separating my jello from my cupcake wrapper so yeah next time I do it or just as a suggestion if you do it and you like this idea just go ahead and separate your jello from your cupcake wrapper and then go ahead and add your whipping cream because it got kind of messy in there so just so you know and here's how I'm transferring my jello what was kind of scary to be honest I just used one of my spatulas to help myself transfer into a pretty plate so you can see the final result but I just want to share this idea so the three ideas I just want to share with you are pretty delicious but yeah let me know which one you like the most you can totally experiment with different flavors and different colors of jello that's totally up to you I just had strawberry flavor that's why I only chose to work with this one they are super simple to make and this is so refreshing as well as perfect for the summertime don't forget to give this video a 